Hi friends, MD Vegan. I'm making another fruit salad. It's a wonderful way uh, to get a breakfast, a nice breakfast, just fruits and nuts. That's a very simple secret. We have so many names for that dish. I made a little bit refined. Basically, I have apples and raisins and hazelnuts. Yeah, that's the base. I make a dressing too. I show you the dressing first because there are some nuts in the dressing too. And I don't soak the nuts this time, so I will have it to make a second, second blending. I blend bananas with cashew nuts. Yeah, this is a wonderful dressing. It's a creamy, silken, silken creaminess. Some cashews and some bananas. Yeah, depends on how much dressing you like. Just for a small fruit salad for myself. It has two bananas, two small bananas. Yeah. Small handful of cashews and a lemon. The lemon is wonderful for the bananas. The flavor comes out so nicely from the banana. The banana has a complex flavor and you think it's just sweet, but you put a little bit of lemon to it, it unfolds a little bit, get more complex. You feel more the bitter tones in the banana, the vanilla tones. There are so many tones in banana. Lemon brings that out. And it keeps the dressing white, yeah, the light color. I like so much in dressing sometimes, the color is very important. And if you don't put lemon in here, just blending bananas, it gets a little bit brown after time. And the lemon keeps it light. That's what I like. So I don't put water in there now. Maybe I have to put some water later. I begin um, with the first blending and I can add some water later. It depends. I will see. Blender dance. At the first glance, I see the color, and that works. The color is nice. So texture, the second step. Well, it's a little bit creamy. Maybe I will have to put a little bit of water, but I, I will see that to, to see to that later. First, the flavor is, is everything all right. Mm. Ah, oh. yeah, there it is. The banana flavor unfolds in the lemon. So that's nice. I might have to add a little bit of water. Meanwhile, I will sit for a while. The cashews, the first blended cashews, they will soak a little bit. After blending the cashews and the bananas, the, the cashews have a, um, very easily soaking very fast. Yeah. Other when you put um, cashews or other nuts in water or another liquid, it takes for some time to let soak. You see the result. But when you blend it first, yeah, the soaking is much faster, of course. Yeah. Surface is high and so on. So here, now I combine the main ingredients of my salad. I already said there is an apple here. One apple can go a long way. See, I wash the apple. I um, quarter it. I washed, um, put the dirt, took the dirt out with a knife, with a, with a butter knife here, and then I cut it into little triangles. That's very easy to make, but I have a lot of lot of apple here from one apple. That goes into the into the um, bowl right away, and I have some hazelnuts here. I halve them, put them on the cutting board with a chef knife. Halve them very easily. It makes it a little bit nicer. Just for um, the surface is light, a, a larger surface on the nuts, and combines easier with the other ingredients. So apples and nuts here, and fruit. That's the thing. And I have some also some banana here, not too much just for the filling. Um, if I just eat apples and um, hazelnuts together, yeah, um, all by themselves, you know, snacking on apples, snacking a little bit of, of hazelnut, that is nice, goes. But if you put it in a salad together, like this, it changes a little bit. You have a different impression than eating them apart from each other at the same time. You know? So if you do that in a salad, there is something missing. It might be a little bit, the filling a little bit dry. And that's why I put the banana in. This is basically an apple one, a hazelnut salad, but the banana helps the whole fruit salad to have more volume, to have a little more creaminess, you know, um, a little bit more wateriness, helps them very nicely. Oftentimes I have um, a filling, a filling ingredient for a fruit salad. Oftentimes that is banana. 
It's a perfect filling for many kinds of fruit salads. Fruit salads are my favorite foods. They're wonderful. Very easy to make. I love these, all these fruit. Yeah. And now I show you my um, topping of this. Yeah, bananas, apples, hazelnuts. The topping is raisins. Uh, honestly, this was one of the main ingredients here. I wanted to eat apples with hazelnuts and raisins. So to be precise, the raisin was um, the third ingredient here. And I soaked it with lemon juice. You can see, I just pressed a juice of lemon and I put them over the raisins. Yeah, you, you don't need to do that. You can just put the raisins onto the apples and um, um, the hazelnuts. Uh, but if you soak them in um, lemon juice, you can also take water. Um, it is even nicer. Yeah. So um, I put it all together there. Yeah. The, the apple, the, the, the lemon juice is very nice with the other fruit. And it's a little bit sour. And the raisins, of course, are very sweet. Yeah. Raisins are one of the healthiest fruit, by the way. Raisins from the grapes, they have this dark peel, especially these, the red peel. And there is a very important phytonutrient in there. The colors of fruit, of plants, are called phytonutrients. That is a special nutrient only made by plants. And these phytonutrients have been are found out to be really healthy, super healthy, almost like vitamins, some of them. Even more some, very, very, some are even vital. This is research is going on about the fire, the colors and the flavors and the fragrances of food that was uh, before time that was not so really considered important, just a byplay now. Now we know the flavor, the color, and also the, um, the fragrance are nutrients by themselves, phyto nutrients, nutrients made by plants. And uh, the, the raisins, they are a lot, have a lot. And they have a lot of sugar. And the sugar comes out with the lemon juice. The lemon juice and the sugar combines to something sweet and sour, adds to this wonderful flavor of the fruit salad. So you can do a lot uh, with little tricks here. And also here, um, with a, with a, with a um, banana here, um, there's a lot of sweetness in this dressing. And the lemon juice here, also in this salad now, also perfectly combined with the sweetness of this dressing. I will have to put, yeah, it's, it gets a little bit thicker as the cashews soak. So a little bit of water will be in here, just a little bit, to make it te texture really nice and creamy. And a second blending gets the full creaminess after soaking all the cashews. Fast so soaking. <laughs> I'm looking forward already. I was thinking about eating the fruit salad <laughs> while I was blending here. Ah, that's so nice. Um, fruit salads, I love them so much. They're so easy to make and so healthy, super healthy. Nothing wrong about it. So first now, yeah, the texture now is not er, nice. I like this texture. This is perfect. And I will taste now the creaminess and the flavor again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Second blending is so important. It's a small difference that uh, makes a lot of difference. I show you now the dressing as I pour it over my fruit salad. And you see, so easy, beautiful, right? Cashews, bananas, lemons in the dressing, raisins, apples, and hazelnuts, and the main ingredients. That's what I have here. I will enjoy that now, right away. And if I have a Another idea, I just put it in the refrigerator for some time, no problem. It will even soak better. Yeah, it soaks and the raisins will soak a little bit more and so on. The flavor gets a little bit diluted a little bit more. It's wonderful. Fruit salads are easy. And it goes a long way. I can eat that now or even put part of it in the refrigerator. Eat that now and I have some time to go before I have to eat again because there's everything in it. All macronutrients, so fats, proteins and carbohydrates so-called three macronutrients. All our food is combined of three macronutrients, the big nutrients, carbohydrates, fat, and protein. That's what we all need, what we all live on, in different proportions. Less fat and protein, more carbohydrates is the general rule. So we eat more fruit because there's more carbohydrates in there. Less fat and protein, so we eat less nuts and seeds. But everything is in here, so it goes a long way before we have to eat again because if you have one um, too little, uh, 
no protein or no fat, only carbohydrates or so. And then you might end up being hungry again after the eating because you think, oh, so you feel something's missing here. But here, everything's in there. And that's nice. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If so, subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. You can explore the endless variety. You can watch me doing that. That's why I'm doing it. I bring out new recipe every day because I want to add more and more ingredients and small changes to the recipes so I can change and the variety. One of the most important things for a good healthy diet. Variety is what we love, right? The creativity, the endless creativity. That's what humans and all our um, uh, living beings um, discriminate, their freedom, their endlessness. So again, thanks for watching. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Hope to see you soon.